everybody. Today we're going to solve quadratic equations. Consider x squared minus 100 equals 0. First, we add 100 to both sides of the equation. We get x squared equals 100. Then, we take the square root of both sides and get x equals plus or minus 10. There are two answers, 10 and negative 10. Now we're going to solve another quadratic equation. x squared minus 3x equals 0. This one can easily be solved by factoring. Notice that there are x's in both terms, so we can factor it out. We get x times x minus 3 equals 0. You can easily see that 0 and 3 work out in this equation. x equals 0, comma, 3. Now we, now we check our work. 0 squared is 0, minus 3 times 0, which is also 0, equals 0. And 3, 3 squared, which is 9, and 3 times 3, which is also 9, subtracts to 0. So it checks out. Here's another quadratic equation. x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0. This one can also be solved easily by factoring. We, once factored, we get x minus 2 times x minus 1. equals zero. How did I know that? Well, once multiplied, you get the same equation we, we originally started with. x times x equals x squared. Negative two times negative one equals positive two. And when we multiply the middle terms, we get negative three x. Once factored, the equation is very easy to solve. This equation is only true when x equals 1 and or when x equals 2. Now we check our work. 1 minus 3 plus 2 equals 0 and 4 minus 6 plus 2 equals 0, too. So it checks out. Now we're going to solve this equation by completing the square. First, we take the constant term and move it to the right. We get x squared minus 3x equals negative 2. Now we look at the coefficient of x, which is negative 3. We have it, we square it, and we add that number to both sides of the equation. Half of negative 3 is negative 3 halves. Negative 3 halves squared is 9 fourths. So we add 9 fourths to both sides of the equation. Plus 9 fourths. Plus 9 fourths. This side of the equation factors into a perfect square.
We chose 9-4 so it would work out that way. It factors in 2. X minus 3 has quantity squared equals negative 8 fourths plus 9 fourths, which is 1 fourth. Then we take the square root of both sides. We get x minus 3 halves equals plus or minus 1 half. Now we solve for x. We add 3 halves to both sides of the equation. x equals 3 halves plus or minus 1 half. x equals 3 halves plus 1 half, which is 4 halves. 4 halves reduces to 2. Or 1, which is 3 halves minus 1 half, which is 1. Those were the same answers we got as factoring.